Okay, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to download land use information and land cover map. So that is one of the most useful map if you are a hydrologist and if you want to run any model, hydrologic model or any even uh, runoff model, right? So you need that information, land use, because land use information is changing over time to time. So whatever you want to change your model parameter or even if you want to uh, see the changes, right? How the land use pattern is changing. You need to download this time, right? The historical data. So we have the data source and you can download the land use information for the entire world. Once you are done with that one, you can process with GIS. So today I'm going to show you the, how to download this land use map from FAO, right? Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations. Uh, the same way I downloaded the digital soil map. So you'll be able to download that one as well and I'll give you the link in the description below so that you can practice by yourself. So let me quickly share my screen and show you how to download land use map, right? So here it is. Uh, let me share my screen first and here it is. What do you have to do as before? You have to say uh, search for, right? Uh, search for what? FAO map catalog, okay? FAO map map catalog and then it will yeah bring you to that website here it is and if you just uh, type what land okay land use land use map and even uh, land cover okay even land cover whatever you want you can just search for it definitely it will show you the information for local area but what we need we need the map for the entire world. So that is the dominant land cover and land use, right? We need, because the map is showing, right, it is for entire world. If I click on that one as before, and we also have other information if you want to download for any state, right, for South Sudan, and we also have land cover map of Pakistan, and we also have land cover map of Jordan, right? But we don't want to use the local map. We'll create the local map. So first, I need to download the map for the whole world, then whatever we need, because that is the map, which is not a, a shape file like we have for soil, right, digital soil map. This is a map which is in raster, right? This is the raster file, so .t file. What do you do with that one? We have to process separately, right, for exporting the map for local area. So we'll do that. Let me just download it first and then I'll open GIS and I'll show you how to do the processes and if I click on that it is uh, open yeah it opened the same type of information that we have different options right we want to download this ESRI a grid and layer file in the layer file we'll see the description and in the grid file it will be a raster file right and I'm gonna click there download and I'm gonna save inside my predefined folder so that I can remember where I have everything data download and land use okay inside that one I'm saving it I think it's pretty fast right okay I'm done maybe what I'm gonna do now export I'm exporting okay extracting basically to new folder it's done see it's done I have this so how can I even see if I can open that using my yeah viewer but you can't even see the color because that is the map okay and it is it can't even show you different uh, color right three color we usually have three color we can't see that so we need GIS software to see that and process I'm gonna open GIS and what I'm gonna do I'm going to create the same way I create, right? At first, I'll create the zero database as before. Here it is. Okay. Uh, what I'll do, it's empty. I'm going to click there, okay? New, empty, and it is showing me, okay, the blank map, and I'm going to direct it to that one okay, here. Go back and download a land use okay L land use and here i'm gonna create one new file geodatabase and that will be land use okay that will be land use geodatabase and land cover 
okay land use or land cover okay lu lulc okay lulc land use and land cover zero database so now i'm just selecting that one so i have everything right so now see you can see it is there if i click okay it is asking okay now i can add the data we have inside that dominant land use we have two layers right one is teeth and another one is the layer dot layer file it will give you the description probably let's see i'm adding both it is the map so you can see the dominant land use we have the one when the value is one in the raster file because we have only 11 classification the number 11 is for water and one where we have more than 75 percent crops and two it is kind of 75 percent forest and three 75 percent grass or shrub and four 75 percent non-vegetated and five is 50 to 75 crops and have six 50 to 75 percent forest and seven 50 to 75 percent grass and shrub and this is how we can see the red one is nine it is uh, more than 50 percent artificial okay and then we have the mixed layer 10 and we have the water but we can't see the layer color here we, yeah i can select here i can change the color bar then it will show you which one you want i can select any uh, transitional color like this one right it will show that that one or even i can select a separate right separate color like uh, this one or yeah i'll select that okay so for the time being put it that way okay we'll, we'll check that so we have that land use information these are tip files you can see the extension i can't open the attribute table it is only the grid so how can we export right now the same way i want to export the map of usa the soil information of usa or anywhere since we have the you can see you can go back to any anywhere right and you can export it but how can we export it we can't even export the same way we can't even select any region by just clicking or by selecting any attribute anything so we have to use a special command or a special process called uh, extraction or extract by mask so in order to export it for any specific location or any boundary you need to have the shift file of that boundary so we'll use that shape file so that's why you need to have a shape file of your country or your watershed or your area right so i'm going to add the shape file or boundary the country boundary of your uh, area i'm um, for this case i'm opening the country area for usa i already have that you can even download this from the same website you want uh, let me go back i think i have that there digital soil map because i have separate file where i have that okay it should be inside digital where is the digital soil map f and still okay so maybe one directory up it should be there inside that one i have the country shape file here i have the shape file of the boundary of usa and here is the boundary okay so it is selecting the same this mainland usa and the alaska and also the hawaii island so we have the raster and we have this shape file as a vector so we'll use this shape file to export or to extract the land use information right so how can we do that yeah we have the tool there arc map toolbox if you click on that one it will take a while to open yeah just uh it's there so what we have to do what we are going to do now it is kind of spatial analysis right if you are not going to find that tool there you have to click there customize and then your extensions maybe if you install for the first time first time so this will be unchecked so you have to check all this thing then you will have access to your uh, spatial analyst tool and everything so i'm gonna select that okay spatial analyst tools and if you click expand it there you'll see we have extraction there right and if you expand it you'll see ex extract by attribute and extract by circle and extract by mask since it is kind of mask we have different it is not a circle not a regular shape it is polygon we use extract by mask 
and it is asking input raster, so, right? So that is the input raster we have, dominant land use information. And then it will ask you, right, input raster or even feature mask data. So which one we want, right? So it is asking to import any shape file, right, by which it will use the mask. So I'm using the map of USA. And it is going to save the file. See, since we already have the Jira database, we added that one. So it is going to show you that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the name as uh, dominant, dominant land use, okay? Dominant land use and land cover, uh, USA, okay? If the name, length of the name is bigger, then may, it may not use. So I'm... Um, Hopefully it will work. I'm clicking OK and it will export only these regions that covers that shape files. Okay, so it's working. You can see on the lower right corner, it is showing the processes. And once it's done, it will open the new layer. See, it's already opened and we already have that. If I turn off the previous entire world and if I turn off the shape file, so we already exported that digital soil map. Right, we also have the 11. Uh, you can even change the color right we can even change the color manually and we can go to property and we can go to symbology now we have the unique value and you can change one by one which one is for water we know that 11 is for water so it should be different right we can select any color bar you want you can select this one you can select that one it is not a problem okay i'm gonna apply that one so the Two, it is for water, but it is misleading, right? We don't want that. So we have to replace, or even you can uh, select different color bar. We can replace that one. So we'll see which one is color. So I'm going to select as yellow. I'm replacing, okay, uh, this one may be misleading. I'm going to select that as this one. And this one may be also misleading. Blue, I'm not going to show anything like blue, but the 11 one will be dark blue so that will represent water okay now we can see where we have water land use see we have only because these are the land and we have water there right that's why we have some lakes we can see these are the water and what is two the yellow we can see the yellow right yellow so that is the west and that is the east so you can see the the number two it is forest so we have forest right the usa it covers forest these areas you can easily identify and three three is what is grass sh shrub these are the grassland you can see that okay so this is how we can create the land use information map and similarly you can open that layout view it will ask you to create that map right and if you want to even add the base map and let me show you the coordinate system if you right click there and if you go to source it already, I think, mentioned that one, see, the coordinate system. It is uh, in WGS 1984, so it is geographical coordinate system. If you want to even project it to UTM, you can do that. But for a bigger area, the geographic coordinate system is okay. But for any local area, you need to project it to your, right, uh, small area. And it is going to show you the cell size since it is in degree and minute. And it is showing this is the degree 0 0.07. It is, this is the degree. And we have this number of rows and columns for this area. And it is showing other information as well. It is showing you the map extent as well. Right? So, so that's that. Okay? So this is how you can see the information there. And you can download, you can save it, you can even change the projection. You can add base map. So how can we add base map? If you click on that one plus and here add base map and it will give you different options. Okay. You can add oceans. It will show you the ocean. Okay. Let me show you that one so that you can see where we have the ocean and the land as well. It is taking a while because it is downloading the map and see we have the ocean map and that is the map of USA. Okay. So here you see the Gulf of Mexico, it's pretty clear there. And we also have, see, the Hawaii Island. It is, see here we have the Hawaii Island. It is also part of USA. And that's why it is middle in the Pacific Ocean. So that is the Hawaii Island. And they have also the land use information there. And including Alaska and everything. 
So this is how you can download dominant land use information for the entire world and you can export it right you can make a subset of your local area and you can even create any map you want i'll show you how to now create a map like a professional map in gis because i'm creating another series right of tutorial on gis and other software packages as well so i'll show you there so this uh, series is only now uh, on how to download different data set so okay so that's that so if you want to even download that one and reproduce you can do that you can go to that fao website and search for this soil information and land use map you can download and process and if you want to install gis i have another video how to install gis right the crack version i installed that and i already uploaded that uh, file as zip file in my google drive or in my dropbox this time and you can easily download that one i included that crack file you can install that for free it won't charge you anything so yeah so my main intention is to help other uh, graduate student or undergraduate students so that they can learn new uh, skills right technical skills because in this world or in this uh, time you need to increase your technical skill in order to survive in the era of science and technology right so okay let me know if you have any problem or if you have any query you can uh, put it there in the comment box and i'll give the link for the downloading option we have here in the link and you can click and you can even install and you can export because sometimes it may not work see it is pretty sensitive software if you want to even export and use that export by mask most of the time it may not work so what do you have to do you'll face one once you are now facing that problem that means you are learning new things if you don't face any problem that means in future maybe you will face that type of problem and you won't be able to solve that so it's better to face problem first and to know how to solve that problem okay so i'm going to finish off here and then yeah thank you very much for watching and see you in the next tutorial